in steady gradually via the open channel flow, the longitudinal phase surface profile called the backwater profile may be predicted using the differential form of the energy equation, that is the backwater equation. For the numerical integration, the backwater equation is rewritten in a finite difference form, either in terms of the total head, specific energy, or water depth. Here, the subscript mean refers to the mean value over the control volume. While the third equation might seem simpler to calculate the water depth, it presents a numerical singularity for critical flow conditions, and it should not be used unless it is known a priori that critical flow condition does not take place in the con in the long the channel. Instead, it is suggested very strongly to compute the backwater curves using the first or second equation shown here. During the numerical integration, the calculation of the variation in total head or variation in specific energy involve a small difference between two large numbers and it is potentially imprecise. Thus, the water depth, bed elevation and velocity head must be calculated and reported with a minimum of three decimal places. When the water depth turns to the critical depth, the flow property will vary more rapidly along the control volume. Thus, the change in water depth, delta D, or in longitudinal distance, delta X, must be changed accordingly keeping in mind that the critical flow condition constitutes a singularity of the backwater equation. When the water depth approaches a uniform equilibrium depth, the difference S0 minus SF turns to zero. In most practical applications, this situation is not a concern and the normal depth can be estimated accurately using momentum considerations. Several integration methods of the backwater equation exist on numerous, numerous Numerical techniques are available. The most common is a standard step method with two approaches. Standard step method, depth calculated from distance, and standard step method, distance computed from depth. The latter method is simple, extremely reliable, and very stable. It is strongly recommended to practicing engineers who are not necessarily hydraulic experts. In the standard step method, Death calculated from distance. The engineer selects a series of longitudinal locations where the water depth is calculated by trial and error iteratively or graphically. In, at each integration step, the water depth is selected iteratively until the above equation is fulfilled. In the standard step method, distance computed from depth, the engineer nominates a series of water depth from which the value of the distance are to be calculated. Note here that the specific energy includes the kinetic correction coefficient, very close to unity, and in many applications, this correction coefficient is unknown and is best assumed to be equal to 1. The backwater calculations must be started at the location of non flow depth D. The complete computations can be performed either in the upstream or downstream flow direction, also subcritical flow calculations are often conducted starting from downstream, and supercritical flow computations are nearly always conducted from upstream. When a new flow depth or a new location is selected, the new flow property or the new flow depth or the new location are computed. We can deduce the change in total head or the change in specific energy on the difference S0 minus SF over the control volume longitudinal position of the new flow depth or the new flow depth at the new location is then calculated. The concept of backwater profile and backwater calculations are essential to the hydraulic engineering of open channel flow and its practical application, including flood modeling. These are discussed in the relevant YouTube video movies in the same playlist. This photograph presents the Brisbane River at the Indoor Pili Bridge on 27 February 2022 at 6 a.m., just before high tide during a major flood. At the time, the water level was controlled by the spring tidal conditions at the river mouth. This movie shows the backwater effect of Oxley Creek in Coringa on 28 February 2022 afternoon 
during a major flood event.